What makes this fun? Is it the sight of it on your shelf? Is it the sense of self-indulgence? The regret when you get nothing in the first pack? The cope when you're searching for playables in the second? Or is it the feeling of actually landing the EX you need for a deck sooner than you'd expected? Maybe it's the Illustrator Rares. They do look pretty sick. Having said that, the artwork for the common cards is equally impressive. Maybe it's that feeling of being baited, seeing the corner of the card and automatically thinking it will be some mind-blowing hit, only to find yourself bamboozled. Or it's that bittersweet feeling of finding a good card, but not the best card that it could be. Perhaps you're a big fan of ancient Pokemon. Or future instead, even though some of them look really janky. Could be that you're a traditionalist, here for some of those original 151 Pokemon and nothing else. Surely we can make an exception for the reimaginings though, especially when they're as unique as this. Too much? Alright, I feel ya. Let's not get too crazy with those Gen 2 classics. Maybe it's just the sight of shiny cardboard. Even if it's only a hollow, the patterns do go pretty hard. Or you're after supporter cards that are going to make your opponent want to flip the table. You could be like me, just needing cards that are going to keep your favourite deck functioning a little longer. Or maybe you're a believer, grasping onto the chance of redemption and that feeling of overcoming the odds, just to be let down again. It's alright. Am I overthinking it? You probably just want to find that new Scyther card. After all, it is a banger. Is it the feeling of looking through a pack, trying to find something to justify it all, and then eventually finding it on like your third pass through? Nah, it's got to be that build up after whiffing for eight straight packs. Ooh, that's actually not bad good. at all. Are you sure it's not the Paradox renditions though? Come on, everyone loves the OG legendary cats, but you gotta admit, this one's actually pretty good. In some sick way, I bet you it's that sinking feeling when you realize this is probably your last decent EX for the box. For me, it's got to be the relief of finally finding that one playable card that you could have bought for a dollar. And then finding it again. We take those, baby. But above all, it's got to be that glimmer of hope that maybe there's one more hit inside, even if the odds say otherwise. And having it be one of the best yeah, looking cards from the set too. Actually. Making you want to do the whole thing again. Whatever your reason, try to hold on to that joy.